What is bad for your dog? I've put together a list of top 10 things that are harmful to dogs, yet people keep doing them. If you're new on the channel and you love pets, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and become a new pet lover, will you? In most cases, the owners love their dogs, but still, at times they buy the wrong thing, do something they shouldn't, or allow their dogs to do things that can lead to serious health issues. If we want to keep our pets healthy and happy, it is imperative to know what things are harmful to them, right? Now let's take a look at the top 10 things harmful to dogs that people keep doing. Number 10. Poor choice of dog cover. There are many types of dog covers, but you shouldn't pick just any cover for your dog. Dog owners most often pay attention to the color, look and the cost of the color, but they rarely wonder whether it's comfortable for their dog or made out of suitable materials. What types of covers are there? Choke covers are very dangerous and cause both physical and mental issues for dogs. Covers with spikes are dangerous as well since their spikes could pierce your dog's skin, making them a poor choice. Shock covers are useful in dog training, but they cause fear and aggression in dogs, so I beg you, do not use them. Buckle covers are pretty, and owners often add their dog's name to them as a little extra touch. However, they are bad for dogs that like to pull during a walk, since they can cause injury. No matter what kind of cover you are looking into getting, I advise paying attention to the size and picking one that isn't too tight, which suffocates your dog, but also not too loose, which could allow them to get out. Is there a practical solution? A harness is an excellent choice since it takes the pressure off their neck, and if it's of good quality, it's also great for dogs that like pulling. However, if the dog often pulls their owner, they may be doing it because they know their owner will move in the dog's desired direction. In that case, you might want to educate yourself on how to train your dog to walk on a leash. Harmful thing number 9. Leaving your dog alone in the car. The temperature in your car can rapidly increase within just a few minutes, even in the shade, and especially during summer months. Dogs can sweat like people do, making them far more vulnerable to warm temperatures. The consequences of an overly long stay in a hot car interior can be fatal to dogs. Harmful thing number 8. Letting your dog eat whatever they want. Dogs shouldn't eat whatever they feel like, especially when it comes to food meant for human consumption. Food meant for humans can be too salty, too sweet, and in many cases, even toxic to our pets. Some examples of bad dog food are sweets, grapes and raisins, onions, avocados, and chewing gum. The list of bad food is much longer, which is why I made a special playlist for it, with videos explaining which foods are harmful, dangerous, and lethal for dogs. Link is in the description. Harmful thing number 7. Bringing a small puppy to the dog park. Dogs are friendly creatures, just like people. Early socialization is also advisable for all dog breeds. Still, is taking a small pup to the dog park the best thing you can do? Puppies are still very vulnerable. Big dogs can sometimes play a little too rough with your small pup. Dogs could also be carriers of various diseases and parasites that could seriously harm a small puppy. Harmful thing number 6. Physically punishing your dog. Many dog owners believe they will have an easier time training their dog if they physically punish them. It's a misconception. Physical punishment causes fear in dogs and is harmful to their mental well-being. Punishment also tends to come a bit too late, and the dog may not realize they are getting punished because of their behavior. The dog is usually sad because they see their owner angry and dissatisfied, and not because they understand they did something wrong. Rewarding your dog with treats for good behavior is a far more effective training method. Rewarding with treats during training helps establish a good relationship with the dog, builds mutual trust, and motivates the dog to learn because they get rewards for it. While dogs do need training, the best method by far is positive reinforcement, not physical punishment. Harmful thing number 5. Too little physical activity and stimulation. You like we already know that some dogs need more physical activity during the day than others. Less known, however, is that physical activity has many other positive effects. Dogs get exposed to various kinds of sounds and scents during a walk or run. If they do not get enough such stimulation, they make up for it with undesirable behaviors such as digging, chewing, and hearing things. Harmful thing number 4. Not acting preventatively. 
Do not skip out on preventative procedures to protect your pet from fleas, ticks and worms. If you have cats as well, you should know that cats need the same kind of treatment. As every pet owner that has had to deal with fleas knows, they are not the easiest thing to eliminate. Consult your veterinarian and act preventatively to save your pet from having these problems in future. Alright, now let's take a look at the top 3 things harmful to dogs. Ready? Harmful thing for dog number 3. Objects in the dog's vicinity. Dogs are curious creatures and will often sniff, lick and chew on various objects. There are many things a dog shouldn't be allowed access to, especially when left on their own. Things such as medicines, nails and screws, coins, batteries, sharp objects, and etc. Also, do not let your dog swallow things that could get stuck in their throat, such as socks. Be careful about what sorts of objects you leave around your dog. Harmful thing for dog number 2. Ignoring common diseases specific to the dog breed. There are various dog breeds and each of them has its specific characteristics and common health issues. Pay attention to your pet's behavior and inform yourself about symptoms of illnesses common to your dog's breed. Visit your veterinarian regularly for checkups and take good care of your pet. And harmful thing for the dog number one, overfeeding your dog. Dogs are just too cute and we want to make sure they are always well fed, right? Still don't overdo it. An excess amount of weight leads to various health complications in dogs. Obesity in dogs results in diabetes, heart disease, pancreatitis, bone and joint disease. How much should you feed your dog? There are multiple criteria you should take into account, such as their age, gender and level of physical activity. Pay attention to how often you let them eat foods high in calories, that primarily concerns treats. While treats are a great training motivator, you should still use them sparingly. If you know of anything I didn't mention in this video that's harmful to dogs, I invite you to share it with all other pet lovers in the comment section below. Would you like to see more? In the description you'll find a link to a video of the top 10 things people do to dogs the dogs hate, along with many other videos. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel to not miss new videos in the future. Let's keep our pets healthy and happy! Bye!